Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Claire Aiken, the Fiddly Fig Girl. And today I wanna to do another installment of the Sunday show, which is what's wrong with my Fiddly Fig. Now I will admit that this one really stumped me. So this person sent me in photos of their plant and there were these large black swaths of uh, you know blackness on the leaves. And I really couldn't figure out what was going on with this plant because the picture showed a plant inside her home with these crazy black and brown patterns on the leaves. And to me, it really looked like sunburn, but it didn't look like her plant had gone outside, so I couldn't figure out what was happening. So I asked for a little more background, and this is what she told me. So she said, normally I keep my fiddly fig inside, but I move it outside to water it. I understand why you would do that. So maybe you have a large plant and you wanna fully water and let the water drain out. You don't wanna do that in your home. So she takes her plant outside, she waters it, and she lets it drain. The problem is, if you take your plant outside during the middle of the day and leave it in the sun, it could easily get sunburned. And so that is what happened here. It made so much more sense when she told me, oh yeah, I've been taking it outside to water and then I leave it outside for the rest of the day. These are classic sunburn signs. It's unfortunate because the plant basically gets burnt just like our skin and as it heals, the sunburn will change in color. It starts out, it can be very black, it can look red, and then it kind of lightens up to kind of brown or tannish, but these leaves won't recover. Um, and so they will maintain this look. They may look a little better down the line, um, but generally they're not gonna ever look green and gorgeous again. So it's kind of a bummer. Um, I recommend keeping your plant always in a shaded area, even if you do take it outside, um, definitely under some kind of you know shady structure so that it's not getting full sun. If you wanna leave it in full sun, set a timer. And so if you take your plant out on, you put it in your grass, you know, maybe in the morning when there's not a strong sunlight, set a timer no more than maybe a half hour as it drains and make sure to remember to pull it back inside. Yeah, this plant, it, it does show a little bit of root rot and some trauma to the leaves, which I think is probably actually from moving it from in inside to outside, you can kind of rough up the leaves, they can bruise and eventually they can form these cracks and some of these kind of notches that you see, I actually think are physical trauma from uh, either wind or you know moving the plant inside to outside. And so um, I think that's what's going on with her plant. Um, it's a little bit unfortunate, but it's totally correctable. As the plant gets healthier and puts out more leaves, you could just remove the sunburnt leaves and it'll look good again. And so, just uh, set a timer if you're gonna leave your plant outside and I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Please submit your questions in the comments below. Like this video if it was helpful and please subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next Sunday, bye.